Welcome back to Health Hush, where we explore essential health topics in detail. In today's video, we'll be talking about a very important condition, goiters. So let's dive right in. A goiter is simply the enlargement of the thyroid gland. This can occur for various reasons and can affect the body in different ways. To make things easier to understand, we classify goiters into two major groups, diffuse goiters and nodular goiters. Let's first talk about diffuse goiters. A diffuse goiter means that the entire thyroid gland is enlarged. Within this group, we have three subtypes, hyperthyroid, hypothyroid, and euthyroid. Hyperthyroid means there's an excess of thyroid hormones in the bloodstream. Hypothyroid refers to low levels of thyroid hormones. Euthyroid means the thyroid hormone levels are normal. One example of a diffuse hyperthyroid goiter is Graves' disease, a condition where the immune system attacks the thyroid causing it to overproduce hormones. Now, moving on to nodular goiters, these are characterized by the presence of one or more nodules within the thyroid. These can also be further categorized into solitary nodular goiter and multinodular goiter. Both types can be hyperthyroid, hypothyroid, or euthyroid, depending on their effect on thyroid hormone levels. For example, a multinodular hypothyroid goiter could be Plummer's disease, where several nodules cause excess hormone production. A solitary nodular hyperthyroid goiter could be a toxic adenoma, which is a single overactive thyroid nodule. A solitary nodular euthyroid goiter could be thyroid carcinoma, which refers to a malignant growth in the thyroid. Now, the World Health Organization has a classification system for goiters based on their visible enlargement. Here's what the grades mean. Grade 0. The goiter is neither palpable nor visible. Grade 1A. The goiter is palpable but not visible. Grade 1B, the goiter is palpable and visible only when the neck is extended. Grade 2, the goiter is palpable and visible even without neck extension but only from close up. Grade 3, the goiter is large enough to be visible from a distance. Now, let's explore some of the possible causes of goiters. For diffuse goiters, the causes can include conditions like simple colloid goiter, Graves' disease, and thyroiditis. A simple colloid goiter is a type of diffuse euthyroid goiter where the thyroid enlarges to maintain normal levels of thyroid hormones. Some causes for this can be Reduced iodine intake, though this is very rare today. Metabolic defects like congenital defects in thyroxine synthesis. Excessive demand such as during puberty, pregnancy or lactation. Other causes of goiters include goitrogens and certain drugs. Goitrogens are substances found in foods like cabbage, manioc, and other vegetables that can interfere with the thyroid's ability to produce hormones. Goitrogens are also found in fluoride and lithium. Drugs like thiouracil, carbamisol, and amiodarone can also disrupt normal thyroid function, leading to goiter formation. Now, for a solitary thyroid nodule, it can arise from conditions like a dominant nodule of a multinodular goiter, a cyst, which is a lump filled with fluid, an adenoma, 
which is a benign growth, carcinoma, which refers to a malignant growth, or thyroiditis, which is inflammation of the thyroid gland. Sometimes the thyroid gland enlarges very rapidly, and this could be due to serious conditions like malignancy, bleeding into a cyst in a multinodular goiter, or thyroiditis. When the thyroid gland is visibly enlarged, we can see it move during swallowing because the thyroid is covered by the pretracheal fascia, which is attached to the thyroid cartilage. This fascia moves with the swallowing process. And since the enlarged thyroid is still connected to the trachea and larynx through this fascia, the entire structure shifts together. As you swallow, the muscles and cartilage in the neck move. And this movement is transferred to the enlarged thyroid, making it visible as it shifts with the action. Now, what about pain in the thyroid conditions? Thyroiditis and anaplastic carcinoma, which is the most aggressive form of thyroid cancer, can cause significant pain. Interestingly, the pain from anaplastic carcinoma can sometimes radiate to the ear if it spreads to nearby structures. Another cause of pain could be bleeding into a cyst or a necrotic nodule in a multinodular goiter. That's a brief overview of goiters. In our next video, we'll dive deeper into specific conditions like Graves' disease and Plummer's disease. Thanks for watching this episode of Health Hash. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share and subscribe to stay updated with more health content.